Good morning to y'all. This is Bob, the boating bloke from California. And as of April 2024, 20, here are the questions and answers to the California boater exams of both types A and B, which encompasses most, but not all, of the important information a boater should know to be safe and to keep others safe around them while boating. On the screen here, you can see uh, the California webpage, which is their course. They've got all the information here that you'll need. Um, including their guide, which you can download, uh, the course book right here, which I refer to, and, um, and from which some of the answers have come from. The other answers have come from ChatGPT, actually. They also show you exam A and B, although I will also show you those in this document here. And you can request an answer sheet, um, which I have done. And I didn't, I didn't say which one I wanted, but they sent me uh, B is what they sent. And when you click on this, what they show you on the screen, at least for me, was exactly the same as what they actually sent me in paper. Exactly, even uh, including the one spelling error. Um, and so they sent it to me two days after my request, so it was pretty fast. So this is a, this is a good free way to get your certification. Um, many of the answers were found using ChatGPT, of course. Uh, so if in doubt, reference the guide yourself. Here is what the guide looks like. I'd recommend doing a control F to search for anything if you're curious about, see? And then um, you can just find all your good information here. And uh, that's about it. Let's get going on this. So here's final exam A. Retrieved from here. Answers by chat GBT on floor 9, 2024. What effective action allows boaters to avoid a collision on the water? and that is maintaining a safe speed. Which is the most important factor in determining a safe vessel speed on a given day? The traffic density. What does a risk of, when does a risk of collision exist? And that is approaching a vessel being towed. What is a physical effect of drinking alcohol or using other drugs while boating? It reduces response time. When anchoring, what part of a vessel should an anchor be secured to? The bow. What does A-T-O-N stand for? Aids to navigation. And these are devices or systems external to the vessel or aircraft that assist in determining its position and course and in warning of dangers or obstructions to navigation. Some examples of ATON, A-T-O-N, include buoys, beacons, lighthouses, and navigational charts. These help mariners and aviators to navigate safely through waterways and airspace. Question, according to California law, at what blood alcohol concentration level is a person considered to be under the influence when operating a recreational boat? And that is 0.1% or more, and that's for persons aged 21 or older and they're under the influence. According to California law, at what blood alcohol concentration level is it illegal for a person younger than 21 to operate a vessel? And that is 0.01% or more. In a large percentage of boating accidents, what did boat operators do immediately before their accidents? Drink alcohol is the answer. What is the main reason operators are involved with running aground or hitting hidden obstacles? They did not check for local hazards prior to launch. What do a green, red, and white vessel light indicate when seen together at night? It indicates another vessel is heading straight toward you. What does a red flag with a white diagonal stripe mean? It means diver down, stay clear, and stay away. What is determined by taking into account the number of persons and the amount of gear on a boat? The weight capacity. What does a safe recreational boater always do? Review a pre-departure checklist. A backfire flame arrestor must be on each carburetor for recreational boats with which type of engine? And it, this is wrong. It, the answer is an enclosed gasoline engine. Outboards do not require 
a uh, flame arrestor. So we're gonna highlight this real quick. My apologies. When do two personal, and this is from the uh, guidebook by the way. When do two personal watercraft, when two personal watercraft are crossing at right angles, what should the craft on the right do? Maintain course and speed. The craft on the left is to yield. And the craft on the right is the stand on vessel. It has the right of way. Who is responsible for maintaining general boating courtesy that is essential for safe boating operation? Boat operators. What do diamond shaped markers indicate? Danger. What is the function of boat fenders? They are to prevent damage to the hull of the boat and to docks. What is an example of reckless or negligent operation of a vessel? Riding on the bow or gunwale without the protection of railings. What prevents most propeller strikes? The adoption of strategies and passenger education about propeller safety. Whose responsibility is it to maintain a proper lookout? It is the responsibility of the boat operator. If too much weight is placed on a hitch, what effect can it have on the tow vehicle? The front end will lift and make the vehicle difficult to control. How can a recreational boater help Homeland Security? They can keep a distance from military, cruise line, and commercial vessels, and they can report any suspicious activity if seen. What can a person do to help prevent the effects of cold water shock or immersion when boating on cold water? They can wear a life jacket or wetsuit. What is the most important reason to maintain safe speeds? To not endanger people or property. Who is required to wear a life jacket while boating in California? Children under 13, water skiers, and personal watercraft, PWC, riders. Which of the following is a danger to boaters? And that is carbon monoxide, which is output by the engine. Why should an exhaust blower be operated before starting an inboard engine? It removes fuel vapors, and those accumulate in the bilge area typically. What is the minimum unsupervised age for operating a motorboat of more than 15 horsepower? 16 years old. What will happen when a personal watercraft operator properly uses a lanyard attached to a cutoff switch? The vessel engine will stop when the operator falls overboard. And without a lanyard, you can have a runaway vessel. Which safety precaution should you follow when fishing aboard a boat? And that is uh, to distribute gear evenly in the boat and also to cast uh, while sitting. Which safety precaution should you follow when fishing aboard a boat? Distribute even gear evenly in a boat. We have that twice. Which agency must approve life jackets? And that is the US Coast Guard. When properly worn, which is a characteristic of a well-fitted life jacket? It will not lift up to cover your ears. Which boats are required to carry one type four, that's IV, throwable flotation device? Boats 16 feet in length and over are required. What increases the detrimental effects of alcohol use while boating? Sun, wind, and waves. <clears throat> when can a PWC, personal watercraft, be operated at night in California? If the boat has navigation lights. How should you roll a personal watercraft to right it after capsizing? Counterclockwise. Uh, and or as indicated by the manufacturer, typically on the vessel. According to the California Division of Boating and Waterways Boating Safety Course, where should you refuel your personal watercraft? In the parking lot or the fuel station. 
which vessels must be registered with the California Department of Motor Vehicles. And that is undocumented motorboats at sailboats that are more than eight feet long. Um, and that's from the, the course book on page 31. Under what circumstances may a responsible boat operator take an action that is against navigation rules? And that is if the action is necessary to avoid a collision. What is the best defense against drowning while boating? And that is wearing a Coast Guard approved life jacket. The water skiing observer must be at least how old? 12 years old. Why should you avoid using nylon tarps when storing your boat? They can trap moisture. What is a strainer in a river? It's an obstacle that the current moves through. And so that would be typically rocks or trees, things like that. Which is a common first indicator of an approaching thunderstorm? Threatening clouds such as cumulus. When boating and reduced visibility, what signals should a boat operator be aware of to help avoid a collision? And that is the sounds of warning signals from other vessels. And that'll be such as uh, bells or horns or whistles, typically. Which are Coast Guard approved visual distress signals? Red meteor flares. Um, an orange flag, I believe, is also acceptable uh, if the vessel is not beyond a certain size. At what distance are excessive engine noise? levels measured 100 feet from shore um, i'm not sure if that's correct it's probably 100 feet from the motorboat but i didn't take exam one so if jumping another's another boat's wake what must a pwc operator do slow down to reduce the danger of capsizing to stop the spread of aquatic invasive species, when is it best to clean your boat? And that's before you leave the ramp area, page 36 of the boater guide. What is the first action required of a boat operator who witnesses a boating accident? Keep your vessel and passengers safe. What should you do if your boat capsizes? Stay with the boat and climb onto it if possible. According to the Coast Guard, what are the leading causes of recreational boating fatalities? Capsizing and falling overboard, and typically alcohol is involved. What is the main danger of teak surfing, body surfing, or platform dragging? All of these are basically dragging someone from the back end of the boat. And that is exposure to lethal concentrations of carbon monoxide. This one was unclear to me, though, because uh, the fact that the participant could hit a rock or a snag also seems fairly valid. In addition to severe weather, hazardous water conditions, poor operator judgment, and faulty equipment, what factor contributes to a vessel capsizing? Overloading. Which term is used to describe a vessel that touches the bottom and gets stuck? Grounded. Which of the following is illegal for a PWC operator? Turning sharply within close range of a person to spray or splash them. You may not exceed five miles per hour when operating within how many feet of a swimmer? 100 feet. What should you do with your float plan when you return from your boat outing? You should cancel it. And that is the end of exam A. Questions and answers found on exam B that were already listed on exam A uh, will not now be read, although they're shown here uh, in a grayed out form. Again, most of these answers were from chat GPT um, and kind of validated by reason. <laughs> Question number one, under which condition is a person at greatest risk of experiencing the effects of cold water immersion? That's being immersed in cold water. Who would have thought? How will a boat perform if it is loaded beyond its capacity it will be difficult to control a life jacket on your vessel should be available for which person on board or each person it's required 
when is it good advice for adults to wear Coast Guard approved life jackets at all times when on board? What should be done with a badly discolored Coast Guard approved life jacket with a torn strap? Discard and replace it. Which safety precaution should be taken first by a boat operator when boating in stormy weather? First, you should make sure all aboard are wearing life jackets. Motor boats under 26 feet with installed fuel tanks are required to have which type of fire extinguisher on board? Type C, type C fire extinguisher. When operating a boat near other boats or when entering a congested area, why should you watch your wake? It may cause personal injury or damage. Which of the following is recommended as part of the annual maintenance program for a gasoline powered boat? And that is examination of through hull fittings for signs of leakage or corrosion. And this was slightly unclear to me also because there's a couple, uh, actually, no, that, that does make a little sense. Okay. What is the cause of most fatal boating accidents? Operator error. In what part of the boat are gasoline fumes most likely to accumulate? The bilge. And that, the bilge is the lowest part of a boat, by the way. And these fumes sink, typically. Gasoline fumes sink. Under the Department of Homeland Security, what actions should boat operators take to ensure the safety of everyone on the nation's waterways? You should report suspicious activities to the proper authorities. Under the influence of alcohol, what happens to a person's reasoning ability? It becomes impaired. How does drinking alcohol while boating affect other conditions related to being out on the water? It increases feelings of fatigue. What is a boat operator required to do at all times while the boat is underway? You're required, the operator is required to maintain a proper lookout. When can a navigation rule be overlooked? If it is necessary to avoid immediate danger. And we had a similar question, test A, and that was to avoid a collision. So but this is better, to, to avoid immediate danger. Maintaining a proper lookout using human sight and hearing applies to boats under what circumstances? All boats at all hours. What should you do first? If a passenger falls overboard while your boat is at anchor, you should throw a Type 4 Coast Guard approved flotation device to the passenger. Which is the most important factor in determining a safe vessel speed on any given day? Traffic density. According to the navigation rules, a risk of imminent collision exists in which situation? And that is if the course of an approaching vessel does not change. When a power-driven vessel is being overtaken by a sailboat, which is the stand-on vessel? The stand-on vessel is the vessel that has the right-of-way. And so the sailboat uh, is the stand-on vessel. It has the right-of-way because it's not under motor power. But if the sailboat were also using its engine, uh, then it would be considered a power-driven vessel, and it it must adhere, and if it's overtaking the other boat, the, uh, the boat that's being overtaken is actually the stand-on vessel. But if under sail or under human power, those boats are, are pretty much always the stand-on vessel. According to navigation rules, what factors should be considered in determining a safe speed? And that is the state of visibility. What immediate action should you take when operating a boat if you hear the fog signal of another boat you cannot see, you should post additional lookouts. In U.S. coastal waters, what color are cone-shaped, even-numbered nun buoys? They are green. And these buoys are part of the lateral buoyage system used to mark the sides of navigatable channels or fairways when approaching from seaward. Green. 
Regulatory and informational markers are easily identified through which features? Vertical, black, and white striping. What is the main factor to consider when planning your vessel's approach to a dock where you intend to tie up? And that is the strength of the wind or the current. What is the proper method for lowering an anchor? From the bow. Which is the best precaution against carbon monoxide poisoning to keep fresh air flowing through the vessel? What is the primary responsibility for vessel operators assisting a boat in distress, keeping their own vessels and themselves and their passengers out of danger? Where should you aim a fire extinguisher stream when extinguishing a fire? Aim it at the base of the fire and use a sweeping motion. Which of the following poses the greatest risk of serious injury to a person in the water near a powerboat? And that is the risk of being struck by a moving propeller. While water skiing, what is the preferred form of communication between the skier and the observer? Hand signals. Which can create a hazard in jet drive boats? Debris may be caught in the drive intake area. What is a characteristic of personal watercraft maneuverability? That is, they quickly stop when the throttle is released. Who has the primary responsibility for preventing a PWC accident? The operator does. Which is the most stable position for canoe paddlers? Sitting. What safety precaution should you follow when shooting or casting while in a small boat? Sit down to shoot or cast. Which agency must receive a boating accident report within 10 days if an accident involves more than $500 in damage? That is the California Division of Boating and Waterways. People who hunt or fish from a boat should follow the boating safety rules and practices established by which organizations? By the applicable federal and state boating agencies. Which vessels must be registered with the California Department of Motor Vehicles? Uh, that was the eight feet long or longer. On a recreational vessel, who must know California boating law? The owners and operators on board. That's page 20 of the course handbook. And that sums it up. And here's a checklist for every trip. Educate, and this is from the boater manual, and it's one through eight. Educate all passengers about carbon monoxide poisoning. Two, make sure all exhaust clamps are in place and secure. Three, look for exhaust leaking from exhaust system components indicated by rust and or black streaking water leaks, or corroded or cracked fittings. Four, inspect rubber exhaust hoses for burned or cracked sections. All rubber hoses should be pliable and free of kinks. Five, confirm that water flows from the exhaust outlet when the engines and generator are started. Six, listen for any change in exhaust sound that could indicate an exhaust component failure. Seven, Test the operation of each carbon monoxide detector by pressing, by pressing the test button. Make sure the battery is installed properly and is in good condition. Never remove the battery unless replacing it with a new battery. Lastly, eight, always be aware that dangerous concentrations of carbon monoxide can accumulate while the boat is alongside other boats, such as around busy docks or rafting together, or when moored next to a seawall or within a boathouse. That sums it up. Thanks for listening and good luck.